strong when I am weak, when I'm standing. together and we'll experience some of the lows together and just through that we just have the chance to praise God despite our circumstances so as we continue with worship tonight I just encourage you no matter what it is you're going to to just really press in with the Lord and allow him to work in your life through this moment
First and foremost, just want to say how thankful I am that each and every one of you is here tonight supporting me. There have been so many of you that have come alongside me through my journey um, here at Evangel over the last four years, and you've, you've gotten to see firsthand the experience and the growth that I've made from when I was 17 to now. Thank you to my parents for pouring into me and my gifts over the last 21 years and for pushing me to practice even when I really didn't want to. Thank you to my professors for teaching me and guiding me through all of my confusion. And thank you to Michael for being my biggest fan and encouraging me even when I felt like giving up. I am truly so thankful and excited that this night is finally here. I have been praying over it for a really long time, and I just prayed over the songs that I was selecting, where I felt like the Lord was leading me, and how I felt like he wanted to work through me. And the theme that I kept coming back to through this was joy in the midst of sorrow. I wanted to encapsulate the ebb and flow of life with the songs that I picked. 
as humans, it's no secret that we go through difficult moments. And we're not promised that it'll be easy, but it doesn't mean that we have to go through that all by ourselves. Throughout this semester, I've been in the book of Job, and the way that he navigates through losing everything really just reminded me how many times I've been in Job's shoes myself. I found myself questioning the way he did, where is God? Where is God while I'm going through this, and why am I going through the things that I'm going through? And this semester has actually been very trying for me. For those of you who know me, you know how much I love to have a plan, how much I love to know next steps and details for what comes next. And I stand here before you today, two weeks from graduating, and I still do not have an answer for what are you doing after you graduate? What comes next? What's your next plan? And though I have peace about it now, and I've learned to trust God over the last four months through that, January Chase had a completely different outlook. I spent countless hours praying about my future and what was ahead of me. I was wondering why God hadn't done anything yet and was not working on my own timeline. I was wondering why I didn't have churches begging me to work for them. I questioned my worth and if I actually was in the right degree plan, and I found myself wondering if God really was there while I was struggling. I may not have lost my belongings in the same way that Job did, but I felt like I was losing a sense of who I was because I was unable to plan. And it was actually Job's response in Job 1, verses 20 and 21, that shifted my mindset from this. It says, Then Job arose, and he tore his robe and shaved his head, and he fell on the ground, and he worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If Job can lose everything, his wife, his kids, his house, everything that is important to him, and his first response is to worship, then mine should be too. Because if I have nothing else, I still have Jesus, and that is reason enough to worship. So my mindset shifted from worrying all the time about what the future held and what came next for me, to trusting that because the Lord provided for me then, he will provide again. And that is the thought process that leads to tonight. The human experience is obviously not picture perfect. It is laced with pain and trials, and every single person in this room has either gone through something or will go through something. We started out the night praising the Lord for his goodness, proclaiming that his joy is our strength. But this next song I'm getting ready to sing is called Tears, and it's the song that I based my set around. It takes me back to a time in my own life when I was really struggling, and I felt like I was so alone and nobody else understood the things that I was going through. But through that, God was there, and he felt the things that I felt, and he sat with me as I processed my pain. Tears may come, but the Lord is present throughout all of it, and weeping may endure for the night, but joy does come in the morning. We must go through crushing and pressing to bring new wine out of us, but we can always come back to the Lord and trust that he has good plans for our lives. As I sing this next song, I just invite you to reflect on the Lord's goodness and faithfulness in your own life. Maybe you're not going through a tough season now, but you will at some point. And I just pray that this song is a reminder that the Lord will not leave you nor forsake you during that time. Here's tears. you 
questions that you're facing, just be still and know he'll meet you there. So when the tears come, don't try and stop them. You can let them out, just let them fall. And know you're not breaking, though your heart is aching. Don't have to say a word, just let them talk. Oh. Ooh. You guys would like to stand. We have just a few more songs left for the night. And as we continue, I just 
I really encourage you to press in, no matter what it is you're going through. Allow the Lord to surround you. Allow him to work through your situation and continue to praise him because even if it is hard, he is still good and he will see you to the end. One.
know, she looked like she was going to turn around and run right out my door. But she came back and worked diligently week after week after week. And I think that's just a testament to who Chase is. And tonight when she showed me her set list and she said, you know, I really want this to be about trusting God in kind of the arc of life and not just in the good times, but in the bad times too. I was like, that's Chase. That's who she is. And so um, we're so proud of her. I know I'm proud of her as her voice teacher and the rest of the faculty are as well. Um, this evening, I'm going to pray us out and pray a blessing over Chase, and then you can come and congratulate her and uh, speak with her and her group. Father, I thank you so much for Chase. I thank you for the gifts that you've